Some combustion reactions tend to involve fractions. Oh no, the dreaded fractions, right? Now I'm going to show you what to do when you actually do have a fraction for an unbalanced equation. So looking at this unbalanced equation, the first step for this, just identify how many of every single element we have of our reactants and of our products. So let's start right then and there, identifying how many carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen on our reactant side. So for carbon, we have six, hydrogen, there's 14, and oxygen, there's two. Looking on our product side, carbon, we only have one, hydrogen, we have two, and oxygen, beware of this, we have two plus this other one, so we have a total of three oxygen. Remember, you always want to leave oxygen for the very, very end whenever you're balancing equations, and also leave hydrogen for the second to last. So I'm gonna start off with just balancing out the carbon. There's six here, one on the product side, so we need six carbons on our product side. I'm gonna place a six in front of this CO2, and remember, you can't just kind of like, let's say if you just wanted to balance out the oxygen, you can't put a six right in the middle of our CO2 compound. Uh, we actually have to keep it together since it is a compound. So placing a six in front of that entire compound of CO2, note that this is kind of like you're distributing. And we now have six carbon, but let's recount all of those oxygen. So six times that two would give us 12 oxygen plus this other one would give us 13. So we now have 13 oxygen, but still only two hydrogen. Now that carbon's balanced, let's go down the list and balance out our hydrogen. So in this case, hydrogen has 14. On the product side, we only have two. So I want you to think of, all right, what's gonna multiply by two to give us 14? And that would give us seven. So seven times this two would give us 14 hydrogen. So 14 hydrogen, however, once again, this is like you're distributing. Seven times really a one subscript here. So there's seven oxygen plus that 12. So 12 plus seven will give us 19 oxygen. Yep, you heard that right, 19 oxygen. And that carbon is still balanced. So everything else is fine, except no matter what we do, there's always going to be an odd amount of oxygen on our product side. So that's how you know you're gonna use a fraction with pretty much whenever there is a time where oxygen or something else is always gonna be an odd amount of that, that's when you use a fraction. What we're gonna do is since this side has 19, then I'm gonna place 19 halves here. That's where the fraction comes in. So whatever odd number you have, you're gonna put a two underneath, and this is what we're gonna to do to eliminate that fraction as a whole. So your very last step is to multiply all of your subscripts by two. So multiplying all of your subscripts, what would happen is we're actually gonna get a two we're gonna get a two in front of that C6H14, and this two would cancel out with the two on the bottom of your fraction, just giving us a whole number of 19. And we'll keep going. Distributing that two to this six would give us 12 for CO2. And lastly, two times that seven would give us 14 for water. And that is our balanced equation using fractions.